Today we'll be showing you how to install the M1M EGR cooler replacement for ProStar 2010 through 2013 trucks with the Max Force EPA compliant 11 13 engines. Tools you will need 12 millimeter wrench, rubber mallet, polar tool for the International Harvester EGR cooler, P80 lubricant, dental tool, hammer, and punch. Um, your first step is to dismantle the truck to get access to the engine compartment. This will include um, removing the doghouse on the truck engine compartment and um, likely removing the passenger seat to get access to the EGR cooler. Second step is to remove the EGR valve manifold and the three coolant hoses that connect to the EGR cooler. Once you get the EGR valve manifold off, check if the EGR valve screws on the inside of the manifold cover are loose or missing. If they are loose, tighten them, or if they are missing, replace them and tighten them well. The next step is to use the polar tool and remove the old EGR cooler. Please note that the polar tool will only be used to remove the cooler and not install the new M1M cooler. After this step, uh, check on the inside of the EGR uh, cooler body and make sure that there's not any debris or buildup from the old EGR cooler insert. If there is buildup on the low temp side, check down and look and see if there's any buildup on the inside. And if there is, we recommend that you at least inspect the low temp cooler and clean it out if necessary. Please note that we do not provide a gasket if you do remove the low temp cooler, so you will have to buy one if you do decide to do that step. Um, the next step is to pull the four old O-ring gaskets on the low temp side of the cooler. We recommend you use a dental tool or ice pick or similar tool to do this. And once you have those four gaskets out, be sure to um, clean those very thoroughly so that the new gaskets we insert get a good seat. To assist you with uh, pulling the old cooler, we've provided you with a few machine screws to so use those to pull the um, old cooler insert out. And if the uh, dowel pins come out on the face of the uh, man uh, manifold here, uh, we recommend that you install new ones and we provided two of those for you. Um, the next step to install your the M1 cooler is to um, insert new O-rings on the low temp side. Uh, we need to lubricate these thoroughly with P80 lubricant and then install those all the way at the end, end of the cooler in the gasket slots that are there. For sake of time, we're not going to install all of these. But again, make sure they are lubricated well so that installation is much easier for you. Um, from pulling apart the EGR valve manifold, you will have two um, M8 by 65 millimeter bolts. And we recommend that if you're having trouble installing the M1M cooler insert that you cut off the heads of both of those bolts and you can use them as guides to help you install our cooler insert. Again, this is an optional step. For some coolers it may help and some, for some coolers it may not. And do not worry that about ruining these, um, those two bolts, because we've provided two more for you. So so far, we've primed the um, manifold or the body of the EGR cooler for the insert, and now we can actually install the insert itself. Um, so up next is to take our um, 
cooler insert and you'll notice that there is uh, going to be some cardboard wrap around the necks of these. Dispose of that. And make sure that these, the cooler itself is cleaned off so that it uh, has proper seals all the way around. Again, check the flanges, check the uh, flange mate here, to make sure that's all cleaned off, and uh, make sure, there's, again, there's no debris on the low temp side of the cooler. So, for gaskets, um, we have two gaskets here, one for the back side of the insert and one for the front side. So for the back side, we have this gasket going over the uh, tubes as such. Make sure that the um, cutout in the top lines up with the cutout in the gasket. That's a slight U-shape. And those divots will line up with the um, coolant inlet port on the cooler. And then we're ready to install the cooler itself. Slide the insert all the way to the back, and you'll feel it get very close. At this point, don't worry about if the flange is perfectly lined up with the um, body of the cooler. Um, that will only matter once we install the EGR valve, and it will line itself up once you um, put the bolts in. Um, so we need to set the cooler into the gaskets, the four gaskets that we installed on the low temp side. So to do that, you're going to have to um, shift the cooler up and down or right and left as you can so that we can actually insert it into the gaskets. And you'll feel it get over the lip once you get it to the right spot. So I just got it there. To assist you with this, we recommend that you pull out the four M8 by 25 millimeter bolts and stick them in the four and four um, screw holes on the uh, EGR cooler body. It does not matter which four you choose as long as they line up well. Again, make sure that the cooler itself is still lined up with the uh, four gaskets on the low temp side. Take your 12 millimeter wrench and tighten these in an alternating pattern all the way down. So that way this is flush with the face and this helps set the gaskets and set the so for sake of time, we're not going to tighten them all the way down, but um, again, make sure they're flush and uh, tightened as you would normally tighten these in. Um, sometimes with the gaskets in the back, it will want to, they will want to push the M1M cooler back out. So I recommend that you tap the flange of the cooler insert so that way it helps set the gaskets. Uh, if that doesn't work, we recommend you let it sit for a little while until the gaskets uh, kind of take their shape, and then pull the four bolts out from the face of the EGR cooler. Again, it is okay that at this point, if the uh, face of the cooler does not completely line up with the body, once you install the EGR valve manifold, that will take care of itself. Save these four bolts for later, because they will um, be used for installation. And our next step is to install the EGR valve manifold. So we have another valve gasket for that. And again, make sure the U-shape uh, cut out at the top of the gasket is lined up with the uh, coolant inlet port. Line up your EGR valve cover, the valve manifold, and we have nine M8 by 30 bolts for you to install 
um, the EGR valve manifold. Tighten those bolts down to specs. And once you have the manifold test, then you can install the three coolant tubes. And we've provided you with new gaskets for those three coolant tubes. And then install the metal pipes that go into the EGR valve manifold. And we've provided you with four new gaskets for those if you need them. The four M8 by 25 bolts we use to install the M1M cooler insert um, will can be used on the um, four metal pipes if they if you need them um, for installation. Uh, if you have any additional questions, see the installation manual that was provided with your M1M cooler. Other questions, please call us at 844-616-2665. Visit our website egr-cooler.com or email info at egr-cooler.com. If you like our product, give us some support and display um, your, these M1M stickers on your cab. Thanks for watching today.